All right, four soldiers to the south, five knights, two mages to the north. Can we make a hole? I think we could armor slay this guy. Someone could finish that guy off. But then what? We can't leave this. We can't use all of our fighters to move up either because we have to guard the south end from the infinite reinforcements. Just want to see what Dalson's attack looks like here. Uh, 14 damage. He's not killing anything on his own. Brighton can only attack if we kill someone to make space. Now we could use the light brand over here. That's not even a double. I think we might be able to do a chain of armor. No, no, only Leaf can equip the armor slayer. It's B rank. If everyone could equip it, you could do a chain of like pass it over a kill one, pass it over a kill one. But no, no weapon rank for that. Assuming, you know, I'm assuming this can kill him fairly simply. Yeah, I mean, pretty easy. I mean, just don't miss. Just don't miss. Okay. Alright, Leaf. I don't know what you need on this level up. Uh, something. HP. Well, that... Yeah. Oh. Alright, so... These mages have 12 magic damage, but not a lot of attack speed. I mean, Karen's not a real fighter. Brighton's okay. I don't know if these two could hold the self line for a couple turns. Like, if I wanted these guys to go kill something. Could I trust Karen and Brighton to, like, take a hit? Let's do a little bit of math. Uh, three defense. So... Javelins. Seven damage from range. P theoretically, another... Oh, nine damage from range. Nine plus seven, she'd survive, but then someone hit her at melee. And then she's dead. Too many javelins down here. How about Brighton? 5 defense, 29 HP. He could probably survive a round. So I could use, like, Fergus to kill something, theoretically, and then have a, a Maka, a Maka Brighton line for a turn. But that's not killing much. I feel like if I could kill this guy, well, no, there's not enough space left. Just want to see here. Uh, these guys do have eight defense. So they've got pretty good armor. And surprisingly, attack speed is still not high enough. We need a lighter sword. So if we have a short sword, we can attack twice. But only do three damage. If uh, Fergus could use the Armor Slayer, that would have been great. Eighty percent. I mean, maybe we just hold the line here for a turn. Um, assuming we don't kill anything, this knight should move into this spot. He has a javelin, so theoretically, axe guy will attack first, throw an axe at whoever's here. One javelin guy will stand here, one will stand there, and they'll throw them both, so there's no counterattacks. And the bow guy will shoot again. That seems to be how the AI works. They try to set up 
attacks with no counters. So if I don't equip the light brand or anything else... Because then I don't have to deal with the mages for one more turn, I guess? It doesn't get me out of the situation, make no mistake. I would really like to get rid of one of these javelin guys, like... Yeah. The amount of damage will stop in the long run by killing the javelins on our phase rather than letting the enemies... Yeah, well... 79%, it's not a guarantee. Still need two hits. One hit at 77, or two hits at 87. Hmm. How does that math out? Uh, that's the best two options, right? If we hit the one shot at 77, then there's no counter damage, which is the optimal outcome. 77%, basically 3 and 4. Or... 87%, but both need to hit. Um, that's pretty similar, isn't it? If you did the math, 0.87 times 0.87 is uh, not something I can do on top of my head, but... 0.9 times 0.9 would be 0.81. So, it would be a bit lower than that. And 77 is not much lower than that. Uh, I think that's the way to try it. I think either way it's pretty similar odds and this is better if we hit. So, we didn't hit. Missing at 77, maybe we would have hit at 87, but we would have had to hit two in a row, so... That sucks! Like many things going on here. It's too many javelins, man. Um, one vulnerable left. Well, she's gonna have to take the javelin without. I actually, think he might go for. He might go for Fargus. If they're really smart, he could be hit by two javelins and a lance or a short lance. And then he dies, probably, if they all manage to connect. Not a whole lot of other choices, though. I'll take this. It's, it's not going to kill, but if it does a bit of damage, then might as well. Super slow Arden battle. 76%. The 77 was actually slightly more accurate. Nice. Thanks, Jarrell. I figured it was awfully close, so my head math still worked out pretty well. <laughs> I don't know if crits... Crits might be calculated separately, and if a crit triggers, then you get an auto-hit. Auto I'm not sure how Thracia handles that, to be honest. Like, you could have a... Theoretically, if you had a 10% hit rate, but a 90% critical rate, would you actually have a 90% hit rate in practice? Or 91% or whatever. Yeah, because if it worked, he would have taken no damage and killed. And it's the percentages were pretty similar. We can equip the kill- I, I forgot, but the other option was to use Maka. I figured Fergus would be a better bet, but she actually had the killing edge. Uh, she couldn't one-shot, though. The second would have been a guaranteed crit. It would have definitely killed. Maybe that means- oh boy. Boy. Chipping might be worth it. Well, that's the problem with the javelins, is they they don't give us any counterattacks. So she could 100% kill this guy. Well, she could 99% kill this guy, because her second attack will be 100% crit. Um, she'll take, theoretically, 6 damage. Um... 
then she could get hit. So what was it? Physical. If this was doing, she's got what? Five defense? Four defense? She was four defense. She's got 18 HP. That puts her to 12. She's not going to survive all this. Um, five. Exactly enough damage to kill. Oh, so if you haven't been catching up with the math, that FCM number there on the top... Oh, well, it's not 5, but FCM 3 is high enough. So FCM is follow-up critical multiplier. Not your first attack, only your pursuit second attack with attack speed advantage. Your critical rate will be multiplied by that number, which is 3. So once she hits 33% crit rate, which on a killing edge is really easy, uh, her second will be 99%. And that's a basically guaranteed crit. And whenever I say guaranteed in Thracia, you have to accept there's a 1 in 100 chance that doesn't work. So, guaranteed just means 99%. Uh, yeah. There's, uh, Fargus is also a really good option for that. He's got uh, a 5 times multiplier. So, if we can get him to 20 crit with something, like his skill or whatever, that's enough for a 100% multiplier for him. Like, he's got the highest FCM you can get. Like, he's really good. Um, so the gamble would be have Maka kill this guy and trust that three attacks at probably around 30%, we don't get hit three out of three. Or four out of three. Yeah, three out of three. They're all going to be around 36%. We'd have to dodge one 36% for this to survive. Because she, she takes exactly enough damage to die. Or she could get a level up with plus one defense. That would also work. It multiplies your final crit, I believe. The critical it displays uh, on your status screen, adding your skill, probably minus your enemy luck and all that. So this crit here, 38 because that's your, that number is your weapon plus your skill minus your enemy's luck. But that's the aggressive play. I don't have to do that, but like the enemy reinforcements are infinite. If we don't, we didn't, we already missed this guy. That puts Fergus in range of two. Now he's got a bit more defense. Nope, <laughs> he's got the same defense. Same HP. So he's got exactly the same problem. Uh, 8 damage. 7 damage. That's 15. 6. It's 21. So yeah, he dies. If if two javelins and a lance hit him, he's dead. And she has the same problem, except she takes one down. So it's... Yeah, this sucks. Uh... If I threw someone else in the way, it would just be slightly different odds. I don't think it would be a whole lot better. Um... Sheesh, Lithis crushes this guy. Takes 9 damage, maybe. He has to hit 271s, and he could finish him off. He takes 9 damage, puts him at 11. This guy's got less attack power, so you have to take one less damage from that. So assuming he didn't miss one of his 71s, he could kill this guy, take 9 damage, and then the other guy could attack him and deal 8 damage. And he would survive it. Support bonuses? I don't know. I haven't looked these guys up. Not likely very many, though. Um, support bonuses are both one way and pretty rare. Um... If I had to guess, Maka might be having one with Fergus. No, Maka wouldn't. It would be Maka and maybe Brighton, because they came together. So these two, Maka, Brighton, maybe. And Laura came with them. So those three, maybe one of them has it together. I wouldn't be surprised if Laura has one with Dalson, but that's only because they had the talk event. Karen might have one with Fergus because they had a talk as well. I'd have to go look it up. No defense. They just get uh, 10 evasion, 10 hit. It would help, but... 
fine. We'll look it up. This is just going to be a forever episode. We're at that point where our, our, our gambles are super flaky, so this is probably the right time to go double check. All right, so we'll start with uh, Fergus. How do we spell his name? What what does this game spell him? Felgus, sure. Uh, Felgus supports no one. No, he supports Karen, sorry. And Karen supports him back. Okay, so yes, uh, let me look at my screen here again. So our Fergus and Karen, they do support each other. So 10% hit rate and avoid if they're nearby. So I could have given him a better chance than I thought by moving her here and he would have had a 87 or two 96s. So that would have been smart. In retrospect, that would have been a good play. Um, but you have to, these are like not even in the game. You have to look outside the game. Uh, let's see, Brighton I'll check. Brighton supports no one, but Makua, do we have a Makua? What, what kind of name is that? Yeah, Matcha, Makua from previous, so, so Matcha is supporting Brighton, kind of like I figured maybe. So he's getting 10 hit and avoid by being next to her or within three of her. We could have Fergus and Karen support. And then I guess I might as well check Lara and and the rest here quick while it's open. Uh, so Lara and Pawn. I don't think we have a Pawn yet. And who was the other guy? <laughs> names. All these new names. Dalson. Dalson has nothing. Poor guy. Leaf supports Dalson. Well, that's nice. So Dalson is getting that from Leaf right now. Now there might be a couple I missed, but I think that's the main the main routine. Uh, well, I feel bad about not buffing up Fergus. That would have been a a use for Karen, because otherwise she's doing basically nothing. Um, okay, so we want to keep Maka within range of Brighton. Then why don't we? Well, let me just see what Laura... She's not going to be better than Lithis, I don't think, but I just wanted to see. Yeah, she has no damage. Maybe we send Macha to try to finish him? Still one damage shy. We take the counter. So the choice here is Maka kills this guy, dodges one out of three. Lithis kills this guy. Luck, like this is less likely. He tries to kill this guy, dodges. Yeah, that's that's a worse option. Um, Maka could guarantee kill this guy. She would survive. Can she survive both of these hits? 12 and 11, I think. So that's minus four, seven plus eight, no, yeah. So she, assuming she kills him at 99, he dies, she takes one counter and then one next turn. But then this guy is loose and we haven't blocked him in. He won't be able to hit her to finish her off with three hits, but we have to be careful. And this is not even talking about what happens if this top end goes bad. And you could get 38% on your first crit, true. There's a chance of taking no damage. I think we put a baby blocker here, which will be Karen. And that's in range... Technically, she's within three tiles of Fergus as well, so she gets a bit of extra evasion. And she's only really dealing with one attack at worst. But the idea is now he can't hit my thieves, which are really fragile. All right, well, I mean, this is the best I can do with the situation I've got, as far as I can see. 
It's certainly not ideal. But this does get rid of one of the javelins, which is what I was trying to do, is just... Oh, good. Well, she got the... I mean, I'm just... A lot of these are like 30% hits. You should be able to trust that you would dodge one out of three at 30%, but there's never... There's no guarantee. And, like, for all I know, these guys are screwed, so... We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. I'm expecting most of these attacks to do one or two damage and be ranged, so... Maybe we can just uh, hold the L button down here. This has already been super long, so... She has Vantage, so there's a chance at melee she does a uh, counter crit before the enemy even gets a turn. Skilled- hey, there's that point of defense I said she needed to survive. <laughs> Skill's good, that gives her crit. Defense is good, keeps her from dead. Uh, I'm not holding L for this, but 23% still hits. <laughs> even with that minus 10% because of her support. <laughs> Still hit! Uh, javelins through the wall. That's why I moved to the left side of the, the hallway. That's why the thieves are, are on the left side, not the right side right now. Okay, the, it's fine. As long as the mages don't get in there. Leaf and uh, what's-his-face. They can handle this for some time. Uh, but Leaf, I should have maybe unequipped the armor slayer. Because if Leaf kills this guy... The mage will move down and... Alright, that guy's pretty dead. So, Dalsin will probably get hit by thunder here. Hey there, Harry. 50-50. Definitely takes some damage. That's okay, it puts the mage in easy to kill or steal from mode. If we steal his item, he might be stuck there. I don't know if he'd run away. And then we'd have the tome. We'd still have to rescue the thief out of the way. But maybe that's the option up there. The left, the south, le the lower left side is covered. The lower right side is disgusting. Oh, let's, let's think about it for a second. Um, I could have Leaf move here, kill that guy. Have a thief move up, steal a thunder tome. He runs away. Well, that's fine. I mean, the main thing is less damage. If we get rid of two attacks, they don't have much left to kill anybody. Um, Dalson can take one more thunder. It's only 13 damage. <laughs> um, but then, if there's too much chip damage one at a time, that'll kill him. Uh, 12. Maybe... Maybe the goal should be kill, steal, kill, and then there's only two left and most people can survive two hits. Maka is safe. Uh, for now, I mean, um, these three at the bottom are the other problem. So there's two problems. I have to figure out this bundle of joy and this bundle of joy, keeping in mind that the reinforcements are infinite. Um, let's talk about the south side for a second. We've got three and a half attackers that are all starting to get lower on HP. Um, the priority would be to kill the javelin guys. Capturing them for vulnerabilities would be really nice, but probably not in our range. I don't know. Let's have a look. It would be difficult. Maybe if she can double... She actually has like a basically guaranteed capture strat there too. Well, if she... Okay, no. She's not... She doesn't have enough con. She got plus one con, which was great, because now she can use the killing edge with them, but, but she still needs even more to capture that guy. She, so... She could capture the guy in the middle. And he's got a lance. Uh, but he's got the vulnerary. I'm just like, we're using a lot of vulneraries, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have to use some more pretty soon. So, K 
Karen's not going to be able to kill this guy. No. Um, also, keeping it... I can just steal them, too. If I want to put my... If I can put my thieves in a bit of danger, my thieves can always steal something. These guys can't protect their vulnerabilities from our thieves if I need to. But I have to be very careful with them. So, like, I could have Lara steal, or, yeah, I could have Lara steal, and then Karen can rescue her out of the way, for instance, if I wanted to do that. And then, theoretically, Lithis is stealing from... The problem is, I, I still need people to pull people out of the way on the north side, or else we've got that problem up north. And I can't leave that mage alive. There's, there's a lot, I don't have a lot of tools right now. Um... I think this is pretty much worth a shot. <sighs> this gives the guy 60% chance. If we do capture though, then no, we can't. We can't really do that. We don't. Have the, we don't have the people to take and draw. Well, once we break through the north, we can just end the map. But uh, yeah, we need to be able to hold out for a couple more turns on the south side. And it's true, we have. Two, three vulneraries there, one vulnerary there. We've got enough healing that we can we can hold out for a few more turns easy enough. So yeah, focus on north. I think this is still very sketchy to get all the way through, but if I can take out three of them, take them out of the battle anyway. I think that's what we should do. Even that, that's not even a guarantee. <laughs> That's only 9 damage. We could add up, we could crit, but that's not for sure, for sure. Go for the 67 first. We don't have a lot of ranged options. Uh, we have uh, one. <laughs> um, we don't have any hand axes, there's no one that can even use a javelin. We've only got one ranged magic sword and it's locked to leaf. I mean, we could get a movement star. I don't know if we've had a movement star all map. Leaf's got 5% chance to kill two. Just capture him. Takes the... Nah, that's not a good plan. The, the trick is to steal from mages. <sighs> okay, we're gonna start with Dalson. He doesn't really take much counter damage, but I would really like this to hit. I know it's only 67, but come on, buddy. Nope. Thracia says, not today. Okay, failing that, uh, next backup strat is uh, Adept. Did Leaf get one on the first turn? Oh, that's right. Right when we unlocked Leaf, he moved and got an Adept. That's true. He's already burnt his movement star for the day. No add up, no crit. Oh, Leaf! You're so good, Leaf! <laughs> so good! <laughs> oh, we're saved! We're saved by the ding. Uh, Alright, that, that helps a lot. Okay. So now what I have the, act, the option to do. I can move up, nerf this mage. <laughs> Thunder Tomes weigh five, so it has to be Lethus. <laughs> Leaf can't even carry him, so we need someone specifically to pull Lethus out of the way. That's good. <laughs> Unless he gets a movement star. <laughs> can I be so greedy? Um. Brighton's got lots of con. The south side is just going to be hold the line this turn, the way this is going. Uh, rescue, out of the way. Leaf, move up. Take 
28. He's got lots of HP. He's got so much HP. I want the mage to attack Leaf, not Dalson. So if I kill this guy, the mage should move down and attack Leaf. I hope. I mean, the other mage might move out of the way, and then it'll attack Dalson, and then Dalson, if he dies, then... But what else could I do? I mean... Dalson's at 15. 10 defense, 11 defense. 1 damage. Just enough to take 2 damage. Put him at 13. It's exactly enough damage to kill him. 13 plus 1 plus 1. If hits, attacks him. This guy, though, he's not that smart. If I put someone here, he'll throw his hand axe at them. Surely. Surely the AI doesn't know how to focus. Lara can take a hand axe for the team. I believe. So we haven't dealt with these guys very well. That's for sure. Javelin, short lance, javelin. Three defense. Can she take two hits if I heal her? <laughs> it's getting pretty sketchy. Um, I think this is all we can do. Uh, we kill one javelin guy. And then we have to stand there so that we can pass the elixir to Karen. Otherwise, she'll get hit by two javelins and a lance attack. I don't know if anyone can survive this. If if we get bad luck... I'm pretty sure if we have bad luck here, someone dies. If, if we get hit by 30%. But now that we've killed that guy without taking counter damage, I think we can use this vulnerary safely, and Karen can survive two hits. She's pretty frail, but two, I'm pretty sure, is within her capacity if she's fully healed. We'll find out real quick. Alright, he wasn't supposed to do that, but that's fine because he's not attacking Dalson, which means Dalson survives. Okay, that side, north side, should be fine for one turn. Now, this would do eight damage, 35%. We're trusting the Javelin is not 10, then. But I'm pretty sure I had mathed it that this can't kill her. No, it's only 6 damage. <laughs> she got hit by 14% and a 30%. <sighs> oh. Well, if I hadn't used the Vulnerary, she'd be dead. And they took the bait and tried to kill Lara, which... she do a lot of damage, but only one could hit her, so that was fine. Oh boy. Dicey. And this is why we couldn't let anyone else attack Dalson, because this does so much damage. Of course he doesn't dodge. Would have been way too nice. And yeah, the mage, he's sort of running away. He just moved one square to make it harder to steal, I guess. Okay, the plan will be Armor Slayer, steal, and this side is basically done. There's still one guy, but that's fine. We probably want Dalson to use a vulnerary. <laughs> Leaf's doing fine. This side we'll worry about after we punch through the north side. That's the plan. Armor slay. 28. 72%. It's still, it's still stuff like this. We still have a 72% chance to not fail. If we miss this, we're in a lot of trouble, but there's not much else I can do. Um, I have to try to kill this guy right now. I mean, I could just capture this guy instantly with anyone with five con. Is that better? Yeah, 
Yeah. Because then I can guaranteed steal the dangerous tome. We actually might have Leaf one, two. Yeah, he could actually armor slay this guy instead, which would be the same odds, but. But then someone has to deal with this guy from here only. It's a bow. We could try to block him in so he can't attack anyone. Theoretically. Um, we know Lithis can steal Thundertones, so yes. Only Lithis, though, not uh, Lara. Alright, I'm going for it. This is, I'm pretty sure 100, I'm actually not sure if you have to hit to capture. I think it's 100% if they have no weapon. So it doesn't even really matter, right? And then, I just want to see what the odds are for this. We could end the map right now and lose our entire team. Leaf could escape successfully, and everyone else would die. We're good. Finally broke through. 75%. I think I take this one. Ah, dang it, Leaf. What are you doing? You're not making my life easy. Capture him. So we just need one more person. Yeah. And then we put Laura here. <laughs> he can't. He'll be able to attack Lithis, but he won't be able to move. So we don't have to worry about Dalson doing anything. We have to watch out for this guy's attack. Yeah, I think we're going to block this guy in rather than risk missing him like that. Um, the south side is just garbage. Hot garbage down there, but we're almost done up here, so we can theoretically start moving up. <sighs> yeah, that's not gonna do anything. That'd be funny if you could s if we could steal the short bow. That'd be great. Uh, you could just attack for funsies. Sure, whatever. Should have just turned animations off. We can attack with Dalson if we want. As long as the south side's protected. This guy is... Well, he can attack Brighton or Lithis, but he can't move. I guess the worst case scenario here is actually Lithis takes two and dies. Um, yeah, that'd suck. These, these two need vulnerabilities. They're, yeah, that's the other problem. There's, there's still a problem. Yeah, there's still a problem. South side is not secure. I think Karen might be better off holding him in. Dalson could move up. Well, he's got a... No, he's got a hand axe. He can just throw it over. He's got five. So you can go one, two, three, four, five and throw it. Yeah, we're still in a bit of trouble. <laughs> we're, we're not clear. Maybe what I should do is try to get Maka to just kill him. And then have Dalson take a vulnerary off of Fergus and heal. And then hope that Karen. How many movement have you got? Five. One, two, three, four, five. That actually we rescue Karen with Dalson. 
Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is fine. I like this. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Oh, I don't think I can take and use an item on the same turn. Shit. I should have moved here. I already messed it up. I should have moved here, traded the vulnerary, used the vulnerary, and then moved here, traded the vulnerary, used the vulnerary. I was thinking I could heal and take, but that's too much. Well, now we got a problem. Dang it. No, no, it's easy. Uh, Maka just protects the south side entirely, forever. <laughs> hey there, Blood Angel. It's fine, Maka's just gonna hold this line by herself. For a the longest time. <laughs> it's totally normal. Yeah, see, it, can, it can't get faster. It's fine. And, uh... Dalson's just gonna stay here and, uh... Not really contribute. He might get a crit! 13%? Come on, buddy. No. I mean, it would have been really nice. Well, this turn's not safe. Uh... I didn't do the math, but I'm pretty sure Lithis could die right now. Maybe what I should have done is dropped his gear. Well, he's got a lot of stuff, but like, given his weapon to somebody else so that they just capture him. Oh well, let's find out. No more thinking. Well, that's a good kill. They probably won't attack because he's fast. Yeah. And he's got weapon triangle for the axe and... Yeah, I mean, there's lots of things that might not happen. <laughs> I don't know how the AI... Yeah, oh, good start. He only had two choices, Lithis and somebody else. And of course, 57%. Good. Here it comes. Yep. There's no way to block it even, as far as I could see. 24! Well, that's the closest we've come to a sort of permadeath loss so far, um, legitimately anyway. 24% uh, base. well, 50, 51 plus 24%, so uh, we would have needed 12% of the time, about 1 in 8 times Lithus would have died. But he succeeded, so now, we should be okay. We can pull up. We got to. We got to deal with a couple more dudes, but um, it would be really nice if we could kill this guy. I know we failed the last seventy-five, but it would really help. How does Twitch money work? I think Twitch. You pay five dollars or five American dollars, and I think Twitch keeps half of it. And then once it adds up to a certain amount, they pay you out, just like most places. So, yeah, it goes into my PayPal or something, yeah. Okay, Leaf cleared that up. Good boy. Uh, we can... Not really ignore this guy, but we can... Okay, what do I want to do? Uh, I think I want Brighton here and drop. And Karen is getting the heck out of there because she is not really ready to fight. And I need my thieves. All they really have left is to go steal a couple heals because that's easy. In fact, anyone could do that just by capturing. That's not a big deal. Um, stealing's just a little bit quicker and you get some XP. Um... I still need to worry about the self line here because we're not we're not going to be out of their range this turn. Uh, so what we'll do is what I was planning on doing last turn. I just didn't get around to it. I don't really care if the bow knight shoots um, Dalson because he's only going to do one damage. Uh, but we need to get him healed up, I think, to survive all the javelins and stuff coming up. 
I would like to take and drop, but we have to use a Volmer here. I mean, Maka is pretty good. I'll admit it. Should I have her kill? How many guys are going to be able to attack? I was thinking about Vulnerary, but... Uh, actually, no, she'll be fine. If we can get rid of this Bow Knight, then there's nothing left to the north. Well, I say that. Um, she would need... A crit will do 28 minus 10. She needs one crit. The second will be a crit for sure, so this will work. There we go. 120% crit rate. Well, wow, it's probably rounds to 99, but yeah. Alright, Maka, you are pretty darn good! HP, strength, skill, speed, and something else. Maybe defense again? Did she get... Oh, she's got two defense ups. Oh, Maka. Definitely the hero we need. Ho, ho, ho! She good. She good. Alright, we are almost out of here. Okay. So. We need to talk a little bit about our exit strat. And that's going to just take a second here. We've got a couple of mages we're just going to toss on the ground. Uh, that's fine. We're going to have next turn our thieves are going to go steal some heal tomes. And then we're going to start wrapping it up. Yeah, that's two defense ups in a row. I think skill... She even... Like, yeah, she's had great level ups. Like, she's doing so good. I think she started with four defense, right? Like, she's up to six now. And she's still, like, at low level. She's got lots of room to grow. Like, this is... Some quality Maka. The problem is, of course, uh, her weapons are all going to break. I would just leave her here to kill everything. But the Killing Edge... We only got this by capturing one of the hardest enemies to capture in the early game, at least. We're lucky to have it, and it's... I mean, it's saving our butt. Um, so that's good. Yeah, we're not going to want to stay down there for very long. Uh, let's get this part dealt with. Oh. Are you kidding me, Lara? It weighs four. Lara is not great. At stealing things. It's fine. Leaf is not tanky enough or big enough to capture. <sighs> this is so bad. Get out of here. Just get. Go away. Sorry to duck out like this. Watch your back, okay? She's been, like, the least successful. Sure, you can capture them, but you also need to have five constitution for that. Um, Leaf can do it, I think. No? Why not? This one has seven con. This one only has four. I don't care. We're not capturing anyone. Uh, to check your Ankylo rank. We missed another 70. Um, exclamation point. My rank? Should probably do it. Karen is also so trash. There's really nothing I want her on the field for. So get out of here. <laughs> Looks like I made it out of there somehow. Alright, I'll go ahead. Ladies first. I mean, really, we did send the girl thief and the girl paganist this night. It's true. Alright, Brighton. Someone's got to go capture that priest and get a heal staff. I mean, I'm not leaving the heal staff alive. We're getting that heal staff. As long as we hold the choke point at the door there, I mean, there's no way they're getting through. And until our swords break, then we'll be fine for a while. Maybe I should have healed her, though. I don't know. 14. He had a 46% chance to do 5 damage. That'd bring her down to 9. I, I gotta remember not to, like, totally gloss over. Now that we're theoretically through the hard part. Yeah, so she could be at 9. She could be at 6. That would not have killed her. And I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, no. Another one. So 6. Another 3. So she could be at 3 if we uh, 
if we got hit every time. But that was it. Relatively safe. Alright, uh... Is there a vulnerary nearby? Yes, she can use that. Let's get this dealt with. Free heal staff. Take and release. Leaf can't leave till the end anyway, so we might as well let him finish things off. Maybe put a safe state down till it's official. Uh, look at this guy! It's showing off. Killing this poor unarmed priest. <laughs> uh, Alright. Now, we could, theoretically, steal some vulneraries off these guys. <laughs> we could be greed. We could be so greedy. I know you guys love the greed ankylos. I mean, there's nothing much else for Dalston to do. He's got to stay there for a couple turns. We have burned through quite a lot of resources just staying here. Uh, let's switch over to the Iron Sword. <laughs> just to try to preserve the Killing Edge a little bit. Greed will kill me! I haven't decided yet, so Lithus can stay out of range. We can get him out. I think everyone can escape next turn, which is probably what we'll be doing, really. Um, but you know, I was just, you know, you could theoretically just get some more vulnerabilities. We're not done with the prison break just yet. We're not just going to be free and clear to go shopping and buy some vulnerabilities and iron swords. So we got we to gotta think a little bit more long term than what we're at right now. Another 25% hit. How come the enemies always hit their 20% and I always miss my 80%? We really are playing XCOM. Alright, Blood Angel. Enjoy. We could grind her up so many levels. She doesn't even need a sword. She could just have a broken sword. She'd just sit there dodging. Getting to level 6. Getting to level 7. Uh, so let me just check here. Yeah, you could good. You're good. You're good. So we can just end it right now, which is the smart play. No doubt about it. Um, I mean, they'll never break through. Robert would let me grind a bit, yeah. Well, it's already been two and a half hours, man. I'm gonna have to split these up when I finally uh, put them on YouTube. Jeez. I knew they'd be long, but like, this, is, this is a little bit a little bit more than I was expecting. It's a free kill. I just want to get her one level up. We'll just do it a little bit. I'm not even really planning on getting vulnerabilities. I'm just like, fuck. She's been working so hard. She deserves it. Come on. HP, strength, skill, speed, luck, defense. All right, that's all I wanted. Next turn, we're out of here. <laughs> Maka! She's the best Myrmidon I've ever had. That's so good. So good, Maka. Hey, Dawson hit something. Good job, buddy. We could, uh... Kill the javelin. Wasting a, a use of the light brand, but Leaf, you know, he's the kind of guy. He, I want to get him a couple of levels where I can too. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm not going to stick around any longer. We're good. Damn shameful of me going ahead of everyone like this. Yeah, get out of here, you punk. Ah, how times have changed. I should be the last man out. Not any of y'all. Figured he's a yaller. Hehehe, <laughs> another clean getaway. My regards, gentlemen. Thanks for the super tattoo. Alright. 
Next turn, we're done. The Iron Wall of Dulcin Maka is undefeatable. Yeah, I mean, realistically, she's not even... Every extra point of defense is making this even more laughable. She's catching up with Dalson's defense. Yeah, this is not a smart move, mister. Leaf also has pretty good defense, so... Enjoy getting blasted by triangles. And you died. It's nice to end on a high note by clearing off some of these scum that have been harassing us all this time. Almost a level. Anyone else want to throw a javelin at Leaf? <laughs> Come on. You could have given Leaf a level up. Alright, but like it said at the very beginning of this chapter, you definitely don't want to send Leaf. If I send Leaf first, you, you know, you lose everybody else. So you've got to make sure it's safe when he goes. Also, don't press wait. <laughs> and then they screw everything up. Diana, Juvel, I'll make it back home someday. Wait for me. I owe you one. I'll be up ahead. All right, actually, Maccha, I think we we owe you one because you are the MVP of this map by far and away. The MVP. Leaf has been good. Maka has been excellent. Look what was in the middle all this time! A secret altar to Lopta, probably with children burning. Veld, how go your operations here? Smoothly, Archbishop Manfroy. Some of the citizens mount a meager resistance, but their children are harvested all the same. Splendid! Then Tara is the only city not under our influence. If they remain disagreeable, make an example of them. Burn the city and its people. Show Munster that the Empire does not tolerate resistance. It would be done, your eminence. It shall be done. Come on, translators. Oh, no, it would be, actually, but... I didn't see the but. But the generals of House Frege seem to have lost their nerve. They've surrounded the city, but have yet to act. Yeah, we've seen Manfroy before. Princess Ish... We've seen Princess Ishtar before, too. Some familiar faces. Princess Ishtar, your father appears to be openly defying the direct orders of the crown. Surely you have an explanation for this lack of resolve. My father has been placed in a difficult position. Many of our own, as well as the clergy, are vehemently opposed to the practice of child hunts. My own brother is among the dissidents, and I stand with him. Oh, just toss her in the fire then. Archbishop Manfroy, on behalf of my family, I must ask that you stop this savagery. Abducting children too young to lift a sword, separating them from their families... Killing them in sacrifice to the dark guard lopped here. It's unconscionable. But you don't stop there, do you? No, you take these innocent souls and sacrifice them to your dark... I mean, yeah, okay, you got ahead. I got ahead of it. Have you no shame? Ishtar, my beloved. There's been a terrible misunderstanding. And yeah, she can't die here. She's like Lucius's uh, BFF. Never would I condone the slaughter of children. Do you truly believe me capable of such a thing? I merely want them to be trained and educated, sculpted into adults worthy of, worthy to inhabit the Empire. The ones who survive our rigorous training will become a new kind of ruling class, one that will govern all others of common birth. Consider it... These children of peasants are given a chance to earn nobility, even happiness for themselves. <laughs> At what cost? They compete against each other, learn to hate each other, struggle to survive without their families. You dare call that happiness? Ha, <laughs> my dear, you'll understand my wisdom, your betrothed's wisdom. One day, I'm sure. Hey there, Ike. Yeah, this is a, it's a fun old game. <laughs> Say, uh, there's a beautiful bed of flowers just out back. Let's go bur I mean, let's go view it together, Ishtar. Oh, Julius. <laughs> so yeah, Ishtar, uh, relatively high-ranking nobility. Julius, literally the emperor's son. Yeah, he's still alive at this point. The emperor um, of the uh, Grand, vale, Grand Vale Empire, I guess they call it. Julius is the son. Basically, if you've played, if you if you've forgotten, 
your uh, Fire Emblem 4. He's the culmination of the dark blood of uh, uh, two different bloodlines with Lopterian evil cursed blood. So he's pretty much evil incarnate on this world. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's bad news. So he's got this plot. Like, it's kind of weird. The whole conquest of the continent was actually fairly easy. Like, Sigurd did most of it. But, like, realistically, he just conquered a bunch of lands. Everything was kind of cool with the Empire. And everything was actually relatively, from what I understand, was relatively chill for some number of years. And then Julius grew up and started, you know, sacrificing children to his death cult. And now they're surprised that there's rebellions and stuff. Like, you're supposed to be cool with it, right? Anyway. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. Bad guy is dumb guy. Standard RPG tropes. But uh, anyway, uh, that's all for this episode. That was, uh, technically, we did it our first try. We did not load a single time. I put a save state down at one one point just to make sure because I was in a tight spot. But we never had to use it. So I'd say that was very successful. It was kind of stressful. It was stressful, but was also successful. So thanks for watching, folks. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you for chapter... Five, but maybe 4x because we saved all those kids. We'll have to look at the, the, the guide there later to make sure I'm on the right track. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.